Hi and welcome back. I'm John. This is Unique Board Gaming Terrain. In the last video, I showed you how to make uh, barricades from the string lids. So simple. This video, I'm going to show you how to make a just a stone wall. It's very, very simple, very easy. I'm going to use hot glue, some foam board, and the same basic technique I showed you in the last video. So, so back and enjoy. Right, so let's get started. As from the last video, we made the, the basin with the flat sides and you build the edges, uh, top and bottom. So all I've done is a flat edge and a flat edge. This is beveled and this is beveled. Now this is half inch. Yeah, so when you see it, it's only half inch high. So when you put a, a miniature behind it, it perfectly now what I've, what I've done next is I've got the foam board and I've made strips just put ruler straight line strips so what I'm going to do is take my blade and I'm going to just cut bricks rectangular square shapes somehow doesn't matter if they're even if they're if they're perfectly straight or not doesn't matter because that's that's the charm of it Now, when you're using a knife, always be careful because you do not want to cut yourself with a knife, even if you think it's blunt. Nobody likes cutting themselves with knives. So, there we go in a second, let's get this done. Got a hot glue, I'm going to be using hot glue to glue everything because it's just, I find it quicker and easier. Um, in case you're wondering, I actually bought a foam board from. Uh, the range, my go-to store for most hobby stuff, and it only cost me six euro. So an A1 bolt. That's not too bad. So now we have all the pieces flat. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece of tin foil, and I'm just gonna beat them up a little bit, just to give them a bit of texture. Doesn't have to be pretty. Doesn't have to be easy. Like you know, nice. It's just nice and easy. Just to give them a little, little squash down. Right, then what we're going to do, I take one piece and we're going to glue the back of it. And we're going to glue it on, we're going to glue it as flush as we can. Okay, to that edge. Okay, so it's as flush as it can be. The reason for this is when we glue another piece, we're going to glue it lapping around. So, And the side that you've textured, try and actually glue that sticking outwards. You don't want to stick it against the inside piece because it's going to it's going to be silly. Well, that, all, that this little bit of work texturing is going to be silly then. Try not to burn yourself hot glue as I always do. So far, so after after three minutes or so, you can already see the walls coming together. This is just so simple. Now, you, if you haven't got a hot glue gun, I do recommend you getting one because they're just so handy for so many different different projects. And if you want to glue something that's not um, like this and it's not against something, but you need to glue the edge of it into the other edge. The hot glue is so much easier because it dries within moments. It's just so much easier. I like things nice and simple. So 
there's one brick on the floor. Try and clear the wispy bits as well as you can as you're going along because they are a pain in the backside. Just clearing the excess glue off the top, burning myself in the process. I've done one side as you can see this one's gone over just simple let's get your blade cut it off nice and easy as you can see done now so we've done one side clear all the whispers as best you can there's again now pain in the backside. I've seen some people use hot glue and, and spin the hot glue gun round to get rid of them, but I can't do that. I'm just not good at doing that. I'm sort of just glue done, no messing around. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a piece and we're gonna glue the other side. But first of all, we're gonna do the start block on the other side. So put that in. As flush as can be. Yeah. So you can see that. Now, when you get this another block, we're just going to glue it. As you can see, it's glued on, it's nice. Let's glue another block above it. Don't actually, it's a bit too big to come on top. bits so you can see I've glued it on nice wall size outside come to this side yeah this little bit here I don't know if you can see it it's just hanging over a little bit the top piece so again let's get the blade nice and simple now what you want to do is I'm going to carry on with this and I'll come back to you when it's done okay right so now I've done I've done finished okay all I've done then is take bricks and just put them across the top as you can see yeah to just just to hide the middle stuff and just give it a bit more most of these stone walls that you see in around the crunchy side usually have sort of spiky bits on top or just higgledy piggledy top so you know the back the sides so then what you gotta do you go undercoat it now you can use a brush and black paint and away you go so before you get to that stage how i showed you in the last video with the filler and a bit of water you could texture the base if you want to but that's you know that's tied up to you it's not a big issue if you don't um take all the whiskey bits off and just it back now i i do what's called an under spray now undercoat you can't use the spray can on on this because it's the foam and melt so what i do is i get a squidgy bottle with the nozzle that sprays a mist not a jet and then obviously i rinse it out and make sure the 
the chemicals have gone out of the spray as well. Now, I didn't trim the nozzle down, the, the suction pipe. And what I put in here is some water, halfway up the water, PVA glue, some black paint, some black ink, some blue ink, you know, whatever, whatever that sort of stuff I've got. And I give it a good shake. Obviously put the lid on first, give it a good shake, and then give it a test spray. If it comes out too runny, then put a bit more black paint in and a bit more PVA glue. Give it a good shake for a minute or two, give it another test spray. If it comes out and it's runny, that's what you want, but not like fluid like water. It's just it's hitting what you want it and it's staying there. I then give that a spray. Now this could take a good number of hours to dry. But when it's dry, the aim of the spray is to get into a little bit that you can get into the brush, but this is a lot easier to just spray it. Two seconds, done. And then you get your brush and go over the bits that's, that it's not dark enough or it's not gone that dark. So what you're left with then, if you can see it, is a wall, okay? Now I've undercoated this black, well I actually undercoated it gray, but the gray came out really black for some reason. And I've put burnt umber on the base. Now I did not fill and mix this base. Okay, just left it plain and simple. And what I'm gonna do now is a simple, simple dry brush. I'm gonna use a very light gray. Now this is a very old paint, it's a uh, Space Wars gray. I'm gonna use a very light gray. I'm gonna um, solid dry the base to give you a different contrast in the dirt. And then I'm gonna dry brush it with a bit of screaming skull. So just a gentle dry brush with the the very light grey. And this will pick up everything. All those little imperfections that you did on it. It's going to pick it up really, really well. Really, really well. I'll give you a, a little view in a second. Don't know if you can see that. The lighting over this side of the room is, is so bad. If I have the door open, there's too much light. You can't win. Make sure you get the sides as well. So I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm now going to jump onto the still leading drab. It's another good thing about this weather board. The slightest little, little um, not nick, but the slightest little bit of texture on the base, on the actual board itself, really, really shows up. And it might even be texture that you've not put on there yourself. You've actually just not even done anything to the board. And it's just, it's just there in the wood grain, the, like, yeah, the wood grain of it, I suppose. Even though it's not technically wood, it's more like an MDF type material.
I don't know if you can see that. So I'll chuck a little bit more on, just in places to get a bit more, a bit more colour. Spin this skull. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a very very light dry brush. So that is done. Nice. That's how simple it is. So simple. Yeah. Simple. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. The last video I did, I showed you the basic barricade. It's simple, something really simple. This one is the simple bricks and simple brick wall. So now I'm going to embellish it a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some dark green pump foliage, okay? And I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is pour some into the lid. So I don't spill it everywhere, I don't make a mess, it's all in the lid, nice and easy. Give a little mix up so it's all loose. Then I'm going to get some PVA glue. And I need a lolly stick. Oh well. <laughs> so the reason I'm going to bear this is a little bit, now you could flop the base with static grass, it's not a problem. I don't tend to do that because I don't like to have a base of static grass and then have your moving models on, on and off of it. It's gonna slowly over time wear it down. I don't want that. So, where are we? In here, there's a little bit of white showing in this little square. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the PVA glue. I'm gonna just dribble a little dribble into there. Let it shake into it a little bit. Then I'm going to get to a bit of flock. I'll push the flock onto it. Now, when I push it on, I'm trying to cover it and I'm going to push it in as far as I can. Just keep tapping it until it goes in. Take a bit more. Keep pushing it on. And what that's going to do is that's going to push the glue out. So you push the glue in, but push it outside as well. So as you're pushing the flock in, the flock's going to push in with it and stay around the edge of, of the hole that you want to cover up. Now, you can see there's a few white bits in the in the, the flock itself. That's to be very glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> that will dry clear. And when that dries clear, you won't see it. All you'll see is what's underneath is the paint. So... Again, there's another little piece here. I don't know if you can see that, just in there. So I'm gonna, again, dribble another little bit in. I'm actually going for two spaces that I'm gonna try and do. And what I'm gonna do with this one, I take a bit of fluff on my fingers and roll it together to make it like a, a sausage. I'm gonna strip it on there first of all. And push it in. 
and take a bit more. I just same as what I did previously. Just keep pushing it in into place. Again, you see the bits of white on it, that's, that is the PVA glue. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to move this over here in the better lighting and give you a more prettier picture of what we've done. Okay, and here we have it guys. This is the, the finished piece in better lighting. Um, this is what we had originally. What we just made and this is the finished piece with flocks on it and everything so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like the share and the subscribe button and turn on your notifications until next time guys bye